what's up guys, it is Rectified here, and in today's episode we'll be playing some more Red Dead Redemption, and in this episode we'll be doing our first Irish mission, so we need to go there right now, and we'll also be doing our, another Nigel West Dickens mission, so um, yeah, so I'll just make it over there right now, and I'll see you when we make it there. Okay, so we've made it to Armadillo, and we just need to go to the Irish mission. Which is just over behind the span right here. There we are. So it's gonna make it there right now, under the mission, so, yeah. Yes, boy, oh, you messed up properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard. You thieving Mick cunt. You got it all wrong, Welsh. All wrong. It was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. Yeah, keep on talking there, Irish. In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's gonna turn black. Yeah. What's up, boys? <gasps> Fuck off, boy, oh. This don't concern you. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boyo. Oh, yes. Look here, this paddy bastard stole our guns, tried to steal our horses. Law's clear on the matter. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did, not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, y'all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boyo? The bloody cavalry? Your voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boyo. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. Ain't nobody speak to me like that. Alright, so... Oh. Well, that didn't work. Okay, so we're gonna try that again. Because we didn't manage to do it last time. Um. <laughs> okay, so we just killed them both. Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life... Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. Uh, untrustworthy, poor in personal hygiene, lacking in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. Uh, what about the gun? It'd be my pleasure. Uh, she's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me, fella. Okay, so we're gonna go get the gun that's required to do the um mission. So yeah, it's um we're just preparing for the um assault on Fort Mess mission, so we just need to accompany the Irish. John John Marston. Coke of luck you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> Who were those fine specimens of humanity? They was me only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. We all met on the door over a few years back, we did. Thick as thieves ever since, and that's right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? Never trust a Welshman, me pa always called me. And he got his throat slit, so he should know. The kind of fellows who will steal an acorn from a blind sow and then kick her for squealing. And as for that French bastard... He didn't sound very French. Not for now. The thieving bastards are holed up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. You best not be lying to me. Listen, fella, I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Irish, I've met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. Okay, so we need to make it to the cliff. You can make quick work of those fellas if they give you trouble. The gun's stored just inside that shack. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. Okay, so we need to search the cabin for a machine gun. So we just go get our fat horse. And I think there's people here we need to kill. Who the hell are you? All 
Right, so I just killed them all. Oh, there's a few more still. There we are. Just took off his head. Right, so I'm just gonna loot them all. So we need to go and loot all the bodies. So I'm searching quite a bit. Now I'm just gonna go inside here. It's not here. That lion sack of shit! Okay, so we've just done the mission and there ain't actually a gun in here, so um he was actually lying to us, so um I think there's a chest somewhere in here, or around here, I need to just find it. Got some money from that. Don't know what I'm going to buy next, like a volcanic pistol or something like that. I don't think we have anything good around here, so we're just going to make it to the next um, Nigel West Dickens mission, so yeah. Now I'll see you when we make it there. Okay guys, so we have um, finally made it over to Ahmed over to the mission. It took me a while but I finally made it so yeah let's go do it. Mr. Marston, sir! John Marston! Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on sir, I implore you. Okay, 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 so I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met, but my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, then certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? Ha, 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 you read my mind. I can only deduce you have been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. It can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I'll give you insight. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. <laughs> um, sir, sir, I am about to do something which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. A selfless act for you, but sir, before I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh, good, sir. Come, and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. <laughs> okay guys, so uh, we're just gonna mingle with the crowd until the show starts. Ladies and gentlemen, gather round, gather round! Friends! Hard-working souls of uh, Plainview, do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute 
chronic sciatic, uh, neurologic, or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article which cures headache, neuralgia, uh, toothache, earache, backache. This man is a fucking charlatan. He just got done swindling us down at Cho Springs with this song and dance. I say we tar and feather him right I now. I say we shoot the uh, bastard. I think it's time we take a business elsewhere. Uh, I apologize if science is not your forte. Good day, one and all. Okay, so um, everybody's hunting us down because they found out that we're a fraud. So we just need to get onto the carriage. So I need to kill them all. Now we're all just going to be coming for us, so we need to defend um, the carriage. Okay, so I just need to keep calling them out. God, my voice still sounds really bad, guys. Alright, so, um, there's one here as well. There we are. Okay, so I just gotta keep killing them. So I still need to defend the wagon. For a man of the people, you sure ain't very popular. I am up against the weight of people. So there's a more we need to kill. Maybe you need to think about a change of career. I will never give up on science, John. harbor such bitterness. Well, I ain't surprised. That tonic I drank at Ridgewood went through me like a dose of salt. Okay, so we've nearly made it there. I'm not too sure. Don't make me kill you! What do you want from me? Nearly made it. One less moron to worry about. Can't we talk about this?
it, John. There's Quavaseca up ahead. So we've nearly made it. Well, that was a little hairy. Thank you, my dear boy. You saved the day again. It always impresses me with the speed with which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. Well, yes, uh, perhaps we should shell the tonics business for a period. Let's say we try our hand at racing again. There's a meet at Rathskeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. Cavalry. Forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. <sighs> okay, so that's all for today's episode, guys. So, um... I hope you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe, I'll see you all later, bye.